Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Today we're featuring a 1999 Mercedes Benz SL500 Roadster. This is a clean title, clean Carfax car. It's got 40,000 miles on it. It's in fantastic condition. We can finance it through Cuddle. I can put an extended warranty on it and we welcome trades. Uh, so this came from a customer of ours, um, just not using it and so he's selling it. Uh, not uncommon in the convertible world in the city of Portland for sure. Um, those are reportedly Mercedes factory wheels. I, we could not for the life of us find them. Um, but they're super clean. It's got the, they're sitting on Continentals. We also have a hard top um, that matches the body color, of course. And we have a stand for that. Uh, and it looks like to me it has a new top on it. Uh, I can't believe the top from 99 is going to be in as good a shape this is. Um, so I'm going to just make that assumption. You can see the paint and the body are in excellent condition. There's just some minor marks here and there, but I mean, as far as the rest of these go, so you can see, I mean, how clean and perfect the under um, the upholstery is for the uh, underside of the deck lid, and then this stuff. That's a trickle charger that is hardwired. So you have a, the, that's a CD changer, you have a flat repair kit. And I've got pictures, um, I do believe there's a spare with tools underneath. So you can see the, this is, so this is a roll bar which I'll put up with the factory windscreen, but you can see just the, the trim around that and the upholstery is in really clean condition. Uh, same with the body. We've got two master keys. Uh, we have books. So it does have xenon lights. You can see the glass is in perfect condition. That's uncommon with this generation. My guess is those have been replaced and maybe upgraded. I just, uh, historically on this generation of car, those would be all faded and not look very good. And those are literally in perfect condition and as good a shape as they um, probably were from the factory. So interior, there's your door trim, uh, driver's side. Uh, door, memory seats. So this is upgraded Napa leather. And then you can see in the back. I mean, really, really clean. Back of the seat, clean. There's your books. So seals, all in good shape. I've got two master keys, which are here. So I'll start this. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go through all the interior stuff, and then the last thing I'll do is close the top, just so you can see its operation. So I'll get this thing started. So it starts right up. So passenger side door, passenger side seat. Oh, that's funny weather band. <laughs> that's a, you don't hear that anymore. That's a weather band for the Mercedes. If you're familiar with this generation, that's not uncommon. Um, so center console, super clean, cup holders intact, power windows, so passenger side window operates as it's supposed to, driver side window operates as it's supposed to. And then these are heated seats, you have a two stage heated seat. This is your top control, this is your mirror control, so uh, passenger side mirror works, driver side mirror works. Another thing that works, which is fairly uncommon, is the power antenna. So uh, if you turn the radio off, that's going to retract. That is, that's a really common failure on this generation car. So you've got a storage compartment here. You have a, um, no, you don't have a glove box. That's an airbag. Um, they replaced the glove box with an airbag this generation. Uh, so you do have auto climate control. All the pixels are in place. Let me turn the lights on real quick. Um, that works, radio works, all your pixels work, stereo works. So this is a roll bar, a safety that would come up in the case of a crash or you can put it up manually. Um, locks, this is a towing thing, tr rear trunk release. Uh, you can see all the lights work, all the gauges are operational, 40,000 uh, miles, 82 degrees in the warehouse, cruise control. Um, I don't think so, lights up here. So that one, uh, home link. So these are three buttons programmable for secu uh, security gates and garage door openers. It, it would not surprise me if those don't work because I, 
My guess is those were probably analog at the time, but I'm not sure about that. Okay, so to put the top up, you just move this forward and you're gonna see all this stuff activate. It's gonna drop your windows, drop your roll bar. It's gonna bring your top up. You can see the uh, headliner is in perfect conditions. One of the reasons I think it's new. Well, noisy there, but. So you just heard the roof click in. And then that's going to drop and that's going to lock in. That used to be a manual operation. And then the last thing is going to be the roll bar is going to go up and your windows are going to go up. There you go. So and you'll get a, uh, there would be a red uh, note up here that would show your top is not up or the operation is not complete, which it's not. So anyways, pretty uh, straightforward. I mean, super, super clean. Great example. These are tons of car for the money. Uh, I don't, I think this was about 70 grand. Um, back in 99 it's in the mid 60s oh so there's the top you can see super clean one of the reasons I think it's new is I just can't imagine the plastic in the back would be that clean I mean it's possible but not likely and also uh, you'll notice there's no folds and typically these get stored with the there's some minor here but typically these get stored with the top down and the hard top on it and um, they have um, creases in them so anyways, super nice example of the SL. Um, again, we can finance it through Cuddle. We can put an extended warranty on it. We welcome trades. If you have questions or would like additional information, please feel free to contact us and we can be reached at 503-227-2354. And thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.